about to find out what we're made of. You're made of bones that break and blood that spills. The warrior fantasy is the Darth Vader fantasy. You step into the boots of one of the most iconic villains of all time. Over the course of your class story, you become one of the most respected, feared, and powerful Sith in the Empire. I feel an overwhelming need for bloodshed. In particular, it's going to appeal to people who want to charge in, take control, have fun, be right in the middle of all the action, um, who, who want to lead armies and really crush their enemies under their boots. Nice to meet you. I'm the fastest blaster in the galaxy. The fantasy of the smuggler class story is that you play by your own rules. For players who like humor, romance, swashbuckling adventure, and the craziest collection of bad guys to fight in the galaxy, the smuggler's where it's at. If I get killed, I'm gonna be so mad. The smuggler is an outlaw with a heart of gold. Uh, more like a heart of credits, actually. I think the people that will enjoy playing the smuggler the most are people who enjoy a uh, more tactical kind of gameplay. The smuggler is going to take a more patient approach to combat. The warrior tends to have a lot of melee abilities. Uh, the focus is really on getting on top of somebody and uh, using all of your melee attacks to inflict the maximum amount of damage possible in the shortest amount of time. Some classes hide behind, you know, blasters or fight from a distance with the force, but the, the Sith warrior takes charge with lightsaber and, and the dark side of the force, wielding both at the same time to really charge into the middle of, of the fray and, you know, carve enemies apart. There is no one right way to play the smuggler. You can be the crazy run and gun specialist. You can be the stealthy guy. You could even be the combat medic, you know, shooting holes in people and then patching them up again. Uh, the smuggler uh, has a number of tricks that no one else has. So he's got a lot of good ways of escaping. He's got the flash grenade. He has the ability to go back into stealth during a fight. Generally, the warrior should win a fight against the smuggler. Uh, the smuggler does not have a lightsaber. Uh, everything from flashbang grenades to thermal detonators. Uh, and can I just say, blaster shotgun. Uh, a lot of smash and a lot of force scream and a lot of force charge. Sucker punch. And then of course there's a uh, force choke. So my strategy in that fight is to obviously come at the fight from stealth, come in quietly from behind and start with the shoot first ability um, because the smuggler always shoots first. The warrior wants to be as mobile as possible. They want to try to stay in range. So the abilities that they want to use are more uh, the charge sort of abilities and the movement speed reductions and stuns. Uh, after that, your next mission is to not get hit. He has a defensive screen that he can use to put up an extra layer of shield. You should sucker punch him a few times for good measure too. As soon as you see them using something, you need to counter it with like your choke or try to push them and then charge again and uh, try and keep them from playing the sort of game smugglers tend to play. The warrior's gonna win every time, hands down. Smuggler's gonna win. I think the warrior uh, will tend to win a fight against the smuggler. The smuggler's got the tools, the talent, and the outfit. No contest. Oh.